which is not there. There it is. So welcome back to Sonic Mania. Last time I think I got about halfway through the game. So let's carry on from where we left off. And I'm just checking. I think everything's working okay. So I still haven't figured out how to get the um, to follow notification things to come out on the uh, on the sound for the stream yet. And if I remember right, Sonic Mania was a bit louder than the other games as well. So, whoa. Okay, mute that. Uh, I think that was our save file. So let's carry on from here. And apparently we were in Oil Ocean. And I was planning to play another Sonic game after I'd finished this one. But the one I was looking for I couldn't find. So when we finish this, we'll see what time it is. And maybe we can play another Sonic game after. Um, I was just finding some batteries for the GameCube controller actually. So so we can play some GameCube Sonic games maybe. But anyway, most of this stream is going to be finishing off Sonic Mania. So hopefully everyone enjoys. And then I've only got one more stream until I get my Twitch affiliate status. So that's pretty exciting. I've been really enjoying streaming actually. I didn't know whether I would enjoy it, especially with how frequently you have to stream to try and get affiliate. Oh yeah, that's something new for this version of Violation. You get that cool fire effect. Which you didn't get on the Mega Drive. Um, I don't think I'm going the right way. Huh, ah, if you've got if you've got fire... Oh, maybe I am supposed to go that way then. If you've got fire, you can't do the drop dash. That didn't take me anywhere, it just took me around in a circle. That's what I get for trying to explore a bit. Oh, with the fire, you can just uh, go wherever you want on those bits. Let's see if there's anything up here. I always like to try and take the higher path. Oh no, lost my fire. Oh, oh yeah, giant rings, I forgot about them. In the original game, I think you can go across the ceiling there, or you can get stuck, or... There's some sort of glitch with going on top of the roof there, for some reason. I can't remember what the Mania sp uh, special bit is for the second part of this level. So I'll be excited to try that in a minute. I'm guessing it's something to do with oil. Oh yeah, I got myself an energy drink as well, because when I was streaming yesterday, I was so tired, I ended up yawning half the time. So, that will not happen this time. I'll be a bit more upbeat. Hopefully. But yeah, hopefully everyone's had a good day. My day at work was kind of weird today, because I've just started a new job, and the two people that I'm meant to be working with were both off on holiday, so I didn't really know what to do with myself. Uh, okay, now we've got a new boss fight. Again, let's see whether we can cheese him. I remember I did this last time. Speedrun strats. They need to make the bosses harder in Sonic games. Apart from the final boss in Sonic 2, we all know what that one's like. Oh yeah, hopefully the microphone's okay as well, because I've put on a bit of a, a noise cancelling thing, because I've got the fan running over there. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. So let's carry on. Oh yeah, I should get a few more followers on Twitch come next week as well, because tomorrow's video, I actually finally announced that I've got a Twitch channel on my main YouTube account, so we'll see whether that makes any difference. But yeah, as I've only got two streams left, and I've already passed the checkbox for the amount of uh, viewers in one stream. I don't really need to worry. Uh, so the um, special thing for this level is kind of like Sandopolis. Except instead of ghosts, you just have... Um, whatever you'd call that. Switches. 
to stop the smog getting to you. So that's a cool mechanic. A bit less stressful compared to all those ghosts that chase you around in Sonic and Knuckles. I wonder what happens when the screen fills right up. I don't think I've ever left it to go that far. Maybe I should leave it just to see what happens. Yeah, I got the fire back. Did I? I thought I picked up fire then, but maybe not. I, I love that, it's just so chaotic, the whole screen's on fire. There we go, everything's cleared up again. Oh, I did get my fire! But when you have invincibility, it cancels it out, okay. No! I'm going lower down. Hope there's no instant death pits. No instant death, instead you just have to try and escape the uh, oil. There's a switch there. I'm actually going to leave it, see, see what actually happens. Is it going to be instant game over? Or am I just not going to be able to see anything? Ah! Okay, I already can't see. Apart from the spikes, they stand out a lot. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that. I wanted to see what would happen. Never mind. That's going to take me higher up. Am I going the right way? That's the thing with this game. I can't tell if I'm actually going in the right direction or not when I go higher. Sometimes it sends me back to the left. But yeah, I think I'm going the right way. Anyway, the main question is, what Sonic game would you like me to play when I finish Sonic Mania? Because I want to keep doing Sonic games on Thursdays, I think. That'll be fun to try and play through them all eventually. I was thinking to get the uh, GameCube plugged in and play Sonic R. So, what would you guys think to see in Sonic R on stream? I love these special stages. I remember last time I was gushing about how cool these are. Although, I don't seem to be going any faster yet, which is weird. Is it filling up slower than normal? I need to get some more rings. Oh no. Wait, that's not time over? Ah, oh, how did that count as time over? That's not fair, I really thought that, that would have counted then. And unlike Sonic Origins, you can't retry. If you fail a special stage, that's it. Okay. Now I've gone inside a submarine, I think. That's cool. I love how this is completely different to the original game. I love how they mix all the levels up in order as well, so... you, When you first played through this game, you had no idea what to expect. Which was really fun. You didn't know what was going to come next. Wait, I wonder if I could have gone up there if I just kept holding up. No, I fire. Quite a long stage. Are we going back in the submarine? Yep. The blue boxes, if I remember right, give you those giant rings when you get hit. So I think you can recover ten at a time instead of one. I think that's how it works, anyway. Let's see what's different about this boss. This is usually the boss where you have to duck under his lasers. Uh, but this time it looks like we've got a giant octopus thing. This bit's still the same. Uh, except it goes across two platforms at once. Yeah, there's the giant rings. There's Eggman. I wonder if you can destroy them as well, I presume you can. It's been ages since I played this. Probably not since it came out, really. I played the DLC once, but I didn't really like the encore mode that much. 
I presume the stream is working okay, because the preview is saying there's an error message and, and no one's watching. I usually have some viewers, so hopefully it's doing okay and I don't have to restart it. I'm going to keep going as if everything's fine. Uh, but yeah, it's showing an error message. And it's just spinning around in circles, so let me know whether you can see it. Yeah, Lava Reef. With the awesome music again. I was so happy they included Lava Reef. Lava Reef Act 2 was already very different to Act 1, so I can't remember what they do to change it up in this one. Wow, I'm doing these stairs terribly. Yeah, I do hope the stream's doing okay, because it just keeps saying there was a network error. So, fingers crossed it's all okay. I'll need to figure out why it's doing that. Ah, I was not paying attention then. Huh, I think Tails got stuck inside that then. Oh my god, every single one of these stairs I've messed up so far. Hmm, looks like I can go inside that. No special stage. Ah! That was supposed to save me, but I jumped over it. Whoa, that was close. That was a cool jump. I might play the Sonic Advance games next, actually. That'd be cool. Do some more 2D games before we move on to the 3D ones. Is there a special stage up here? No, just loads of rings. And Yoshi's Island style run across the ceiling. Like when you baby Mario. Whoa! Is that the way I'm supposed to go? No. This way. Wow, that looks like there's a special stage over there. No, no. There is something there, though. Maybe there's something down here. What's the point of that bit falling away if there's nothing there? Oh, I love this music so much. I'm glad they didn't mess with it too much. They just made it a bit more jazzy. Oh, it wasn't going to move anyway. Uh, is that something? Oh, a pointless spring. Yay, and an extra life. And the lava doesn't hurt me. And those things don't hurt me. And this won't hurt me! Ah. Oh no! I spoke too soon. Something is going to hurt me. Eventually. Wait for that fog to go. And with these, if you aim to the left and use them, that's, uh, that's how you get them to go down. Or you can do a spin dash to the right to get them to move up. Uh, I didn't even see what that killed then. One of those fake blogs. Is that it? Apparently it's just going to stop there. And the screen's going to shake. Oh, that's why there's another one of those drills there. Okay, is something bad happening? Can't tell what's going on. Found an extra life though. I think the lava might be coming up to meet me.
unless it's a glitch like Origins where it just doesn't stop shaking in... Uh, what's that? Oh, maybe it's not coming up. What is going on there? I have no idea. They just wanted it to. They just wanted it to look dramatic. Whoa! I don't know if that's the right way or not, but there's loads of things in there. Oh, we don't fight those earlier. Let's try going up. See if there's anything up there. This is probably just the way out of a different route, yeah. And you could probably come down from there as well. And I'm for another boss fight. Another boss fight to cheese. Uh, or not, apparently. That one is uncheesable. I have to wait a few times for it to lose its armor. I'm so impatient with Sonic bosses. Let's try this. Right. Let me in! Uh oh. I nearly lost my only ring then. There we go, I got a hit in. Let's try doing that. That worked. Oh, now he's lost his armor. Now we can just cheese him. That was close. I lost my last ring then. Dun, 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 dun. Let me just check that the link actually went out. Let's see whether it's working okay. So I just keep getting a network error issue. Uh, yeah, it looks like it does. Whoa, okay, that's very different. So we're not really in a cave this time. Okay, we are. You just gave you a little preview of uh, what's on the outside. And we have this cool Sonic CD sounding remix. This is such a good soundtrack. Okay, now we get another chance for the special stage. and pick up some more rings this time. That was uh, where I went wrong last time. Ah! That's not going to help. I forgot I'm actually pretty far in with the special stages, so that's probably why they're getting more difficult as well. This is making me want to play Sonic R though, not not the Sonic uh, Advance. So maybe we'll end up playing Sonic R next. I can play that on the GameCube as well, using the Gems Collection. So, who wants to see some Sonic R after this? this time. And I've got a bit of extra speed to get them. Yeah, that's better. Although, I think the uh, the thing with the emeralds got quite far away now. Now I can catch them up. Oh, I didn't even notice the ones on that side. Now, are there any shortcuts? Okay. Oh, it feels like I'm going back on myself. That's weird. Somehow I dodged that too. 
Where is it? Am I that far back? Can't see it anyway. Ah! Oh. That shouldn't happen. Oh, I think I can see it. It's like literally on the other side of the level. I'm gonna run out of rings, I think. I don't know how to get that. Come on. I don't think you can actually go any faster than this. Oh no, I'm gonna get rings. Get them. Ah, oh, time up. Damn it! I couldn't even see the thing there. There's only three more to go, so I might still be in with a chance of getting them all. Am I going back up to where I just came from? Yeah. Oh, it won't let me try again. I forgot. Oh no. Bringing back memories of Marble Zone. At least only briefly. Hey, a nice random one-up appeared from nowhere. Oh, it does go somewhere. I wasn't sure if that would just be... Uh... Ah, I can't get out! Let me back up. Now we don't even need one of those boxes. I don't know if I was supposed to go up there. Yeah, looks like I'm going the right way. That gave me Hilltop Zone flashbacks then. some cool weird looking machine in the background there as well. I never want to go in those special stages, they're basically just the uh, the blue sphere stages from Sonic 3. I can't decide which version I which version of this song I prefer. I really like this light background. Hope there's no spikes on the end here. No, I'm free! Uh, Trower84, hello! Thanks for stopping by. Does the stream look okay? Because on my preview it's just saying there's a network error. So I hope it looks alright on your end. Or on Twitch's end. If someone's here, then that must mean that it's okay. Yeah, looking good. Excellent. I learned yesterday not to trust the preview window. I'm not sure what's wrong with it. It looks okay for like a second and then it just cuts out. Oh, I thought it'd be safe if I jumped up there. Oh, did I make that hard on myself then? Uh, not really.
I'm sure this bit was part of the boss fight in Sonic and Knuckles. So, I wonder if there'll be something similar in this one. Let's see what happens. I think this must be the boss coming up. Oh, is it one of those ones where you can see something going on in the background? Maybe. Okay. Completely different. It's like a weird funfair attraction thing. No, I lost my fire. That was my way of getting ahead then. Get him, Tails! Oh. oh no. I was complaining that bosses were too easy earlier. Yay, Tails got him there at least. And again. Yes! Good job, Tails! Gotta make sure not to lose that ring. Yay, got him. That was a weird boss. Cool background, though. I'm going to refresh that preview window, see if that helps. Oh, I had a follower. I missed that. Thank you to Bean2K1. Not sure if you're watching or if you followed just before I went live, because it says 54 minutes ago. So, if you are watching, thank you. Hopefully soon I'll have my affiliate stuff and then you can get like channel points or, or whatever you can get from it. But anyway, we're back now on another Sonic CD level. This is that weird level in Sonic CD where Sonic goes mini for no reason in particular. A lot of things happen in that game for no reason. The level designs are just... wacky. This one has a little bit more sense to it. This version. Oh. Okay, that one didn't do anything. That was kind of anticlimactic. Oh god, this is giving me flashbacks of trying to go to the past or the future with those spring um, springs on wheels. The amount of frustration that game caused me. Oh, apparently that didn't hurt me. Ah, I wanted that. No, I probably messed up now. Where am I going? Ah, oh, I really messed up. There was even bonus stuff over there. Let's see if I can find a way back to it. Find a checkpoint. I think it was down here, so. Yes, there we go. Now we've got the electric shield. Which lets you pick up rings. Oh yeah, that was that was the unique thing for this one. Instead of making Sonic Mini, you just move him into the background, which makes it look like he's mini. Which is pretty cool. It kind of messes with the physics a bit though. Everything feels a bit heavier. It's really cool though. I wonder if the Saturn could have done that with its like sprite scaling. Or the Mega Drive, should I say, Mega CD. Maybe not. It might have been too much to show on screen at once. Oh. I've still made it across. I thought I'd messed up then. Oh, that's weird. Instead of throwing a bomb, he just throws a miniature version of himself. Let's go back into the background. This would have been cool on the 3DS if they did a 3D version.
It's weird, even though it, the only thing that's different is the fact that it's smaller. It feels like Sonic's really heavy for some reason. Oh no, Tails is stuck on the wrong side! Where is he? Is he going to come back? No, I think we've lost Tails, everyone. Is he not? Oh no, he teleported back to me. Where did you go, buddy? Uh-oh. This fight? This was the final boss in Sonic 1. What's he doing in Sonic CD? I wonder if they've made it easier, though. I mean, it was a pretty easy fight, anyway. The only problem is, occasionally you can go the wrong way and get squashed. That was the main frustration. It seems like they move slower. That's probably how they can justify having this boss, just as a regular end of level boss. It does seem a lot easier. I suppose because you've got rings as well, so it's not so terrifying to play. Wow, it definitely took a lot less hits too. Oh. Damn. Okay, there is something new to it then. That's cool. I like how they change things up to mess with your expectations of what you remember the level being. Wow, I thought for a second then that wasn't even the end of the stage. That would have been crazy for a mini boss. Throughout one. Now let's see what is different in Act Two. Oh, yeah, that was close. Oh no, Tails! Tails just showed why I just stopped there. Oh, I love these things. Whee! Huh? That was broken. Maybe because I was going on it backwards. Oh no, you can do it that way, right? It was just broken. No, don't get hit by them spikes. They'll send you back the other way again. I'm gonna see if I can stay on the top level. There's always more interesting stuff higher up in Sonic levels. Because it's usually a path that I haven't seen as often. So whenever I play now, I want to try and get as high up as I can. Because there's always like little hidden things like that. Let me go back in there and get those rings. Will it let me back in? Oh, Tails was stuck on the wrong side anyway. Oh no! Ah, oh, I blame Tails. Even though he had nothing to do with it. Oh, that, that confused me then. Oh, you do get to be Mini Sonic as well. Again, that's from uh, Sonic CD. Although, obviously, in Sonic CD, you couldn't do that. Uh, not Spin Dash, what's it called? Boost, boost Dash? You couldn't do that before. Although, you can know that Sonic Origins has come out, so that's cool. And it definitely helps a lot with some of the time travel stuff. After I really struggled getting through Sonic CD, I watched someone else play it, and there's a way that you can use the the drop dash. That's what it's called, drop dash. There's a way you can use that to get past the time stone things really easily. Like you can basically just keep doing it in one place, so you don't even need to worry about finding a good place to be able to run to use it. Which I wish I'd known while I was playing through it. So if, you, if you saw my stream of Sonic CD, I was getting so frustrated at points. But it's still a good game, though. But yeah, you don't want to stand on there because they will actually hit you up into the spikes. Ah! <laughs> oh no! I don't know when to jump off. 
not like that. Let's see if I can actually get any higher on. Wow, yeah, I did, I did it. And there was a, there was another one up there. I think I've got enough lives now. How many have I got? 23. They definitely made Sonic Mania easier than the classic Sonic games. I think so, anyway. The level design is a bit less uh, out to kill you, if that makes any sense. It's a bit more fair. A bit. It's also quite a lot bigger as well. Gotta play as Baby Sonic now. I don't know why. It wouldn't make any difference to this fight whatsoever. Apparently Baby Eggman's here as well. And the Baby Amy robot. I don't know what they do. I'm not gonna let it get, get on me. Right, what's the second part? Usually these bosses have two different parts. Oh no, lost my last ring! Is that everything? Do I have to destroy that? Oh no, I'm scared now. Was that the last the last bit? Yeah, I did it! And now I'm not a baby Sonic anymore. That was lucky. Got through it with zero rings. Now it's like... Uh, Bowser at the end of Yoshi's Island. And now we get to go to another brand new stage. One that was made exclusively for Origins. Not Origins, Mania. Let's see if I can get a spin bash up there. There was something counting down then, I'm not sure what that was for. That's really cool as well, how they used that uh, plasma circle thing, which was from the original Sonic 3 bonus stage. How they actually put that as a regular level design element. And obviously those things from Sonic 2. And the fans from Sonic 3, so just basically taking loads of different pre-existing things and putting them all in one stage. And that from Sonic 3 as well. Oh no! Oh no, it didn't matter anyway! That wasn't a very long ride. Whee, now we get to go on a roller coaster section. I love the fact that they use these in the level. I wonder why the original games never used them. Like they had them, but they were only ever in the bonus stages. Ah! Oh, that's why it gives you the shield. Great. And what's down there? Lightning! Probably my favourite power up. Because you can just grab all the rings. To anyone who's watching, what's your favourite power up in the Sonic game? Oh, that's cool! I didn't know that happened. That's so clever. Oh no, it's not working. Ha! Huh. I love it. Another reason why electricity is my favourite power up. 
But it's been so long since I've played Sonic Mania, I don't remember this level at all. I thought he was going to make me jump over that then. Ah, oh, did that replace it? I wasn't sure if it would keep them both or not. Boo, I lost my favourite power-up. Ah, uh, can I get round without a spring? Yes. No, let me back up in the middle. Whee. Wow, it's just throwing rings out everywhere on the stage. I nearly got 200 already. Let's go for another quick ride. Is it? Yep, again. A bit pointless. Not really sure what this stage is meant to be. Is it like an airship? I don't know. Wanna go down on that side? Ah! That's not fair. I, I even had my spin dash charged up for that. Got another extra life though, and another one! Oh my god, that's 27 lives now. They definitely made this game too easy compared to the uh, the Mega Drive Sonic games. Okay, there's nothing to do on that side. Ah, just let me go. Just as I got 200 rings, then I'd lose them all. I knew there'd be something to save me. Why is that even there? It just slows you down. Okay. Hit me. Is there something there? It feels like... There's something there in the side. Or it's just a weird little uh, bit in the level that I'm just bouncing off weirdly. There's something up there. Supposed to get that. Yeah, there we go. One up skills. Are we approaching the boss? Oh, it's this one again. What's going to be different later? Again, just uh, as long as you got one ring, you're safe. No, oh, no, tails. So, what you're actually supposed to do in this one is hit it once and then jump out of the way so you don't get hit by the spikes. Oh, what's going on? Low gravity. I don't know if it's the gravity that's changing or if the idea is that it's just going up and down so fast that you're kind of just being pulled down. It's a cool fight though. A bit too easy. Now let's see what's going on in Act 2. Again, some more elements from Sonic 2 there. Um, can't remember what the name of that zone is. 
Not Metropolis Zone, is it? It might be. Something like that. Right. I think the idea of this level is that there's sort of four different areas to it. So you've got to try and like figure out which direction to go in. And it keeps resetting you like that. So if I go back down there again, that'll send me back to the start of the stage. So that's pretty cool. This one's more like a puzzle level. I think, at least. sure though, I just seem to be going straight ahead this time. Am I back in the middle of the level again? Right, is this a different path? Yeah, I'm not sure what they were really uh, trying to trying to go with on this stage. It's a weird one. I just keep getting teleported around everywhere, and I don't know if it's the right way or not. Uh, it's not taking me anywhere. supposed to get through there then. Ah, why am I stuck? What's going on? I think Tails just saved me from that. Uh, am I going the right way? <laughs> I'm just being bounced around all over the place. Must be going oh yeah, no super peel out in this one. Got to do it the old-fashioned way, or the. Uh, well, I suppose the peel out's the old-fashioned way because that came before the spin bash. Or they kind of happened at the same time, I guess. Okay, so I guess it blocks the area off when you finished it. So that's two out of the four sections complete. I'm glad I've got the electric shield. It does save you from a lot of, uh, a lot of the enemies. Trying to stop me getting to my rings. I haven't seen a special stage in a while. I thought there might be one there then. Uh, have I come around in a circle? Uh, let's try going up here. Maybe the way it's trying to get me to stay away from is the way forward. Ah, that was close. Whoa, let me get that. Wasted rings to get rings. Oh yeah, I haven't got the electric thing anymore. Oh. I didn't even realise you could come out of that. Oh, good job it came back. Is that that section done? 
Yeah, so they do get blocked off. So we just got this one left now then. Pretty interesting level design. But uh, kind of long winded at the same time. Oh, it's on there. Okay. At least there's no punishment for failing. You can just keep trying. So, go there. And then go to the right. going on here? Am I supposed to go into that? I don't trust that. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. Retro Humpty Dumpty Do. Wow. That's a good username. Hello. How are you doing this evening? Jeez, the boss. Get the rings back. Oh no! No! Ah! Just in time to see Eggman's weird countdown minions. Yeah, how's everyone doing this evening? Are you on good? Or have a good day at work? Or school? Or whatever you do? I had a bit of a weird day today. Because I've just started a new job, but the people that I'm meant to be working with are both on holiday. So I was just trying to make myself busy all day. But I'm still a lot happier than I was at my old job, so that's good. Oh, you can't get me here. Oh, I spoke too soon. Wow, I think this is the first boss that I've actually had to try and focus at least a little bit on. Whoa, no, it's like that fighting Kirby. Do I have to let him get catch me? Well, what's going on now? We're going to a different part of the level. And somehow you can send the bullets back at him. Whoa, and now I'm back on this fight again. This one's crazy. Oh, Tails, why didn't you attack him then? Oh no, I've only got one ring left. This has been the first actually challenging fight in the whole game so far. Now what's going on? Yeah, do that again, Tails. More of that. I don't think that's safe. Yes, Tails, more of that! Ah! Leave me alone! Yes. This fight's cool, why couldn't they all be this good? Okay, gotta wait for them to start electrocuting the floor. Get him, Tails. Yes. One more arm to go. And we have to get grabbed again. Not sure what the point of having those there is, if you are uh, forced to get grabbed anyway. Wow. This is a long boss fight as well. But it takes a lot of hits too. Okay, is that it? Or are we going to have to do one more mini boss? That's it. 
he's having a paddy like a baby. And Sonic uh, Knuckles was just watching the entire time. Was that the final boss? It might have been, actually. That was a lot faster than I thought. And the only boss that was actually a challenge in this game was the final boss, too. <clears throat> well, maybe I should find another game to play. I've only been streaming for an hour. Um, I know what. While that's playing... I'll go and see whether I can find Sonic Gems collection. Then we can play Sonic R like I promised earlier. So bear with me one second. You can enjoy these credits. Logan, if you watch him, one day, one day, not today. Bear with me a second, I've got to try and figure this out. I've got to do a bit of uh, cable switching. And then, yes, we can get started with some Sonic R. Turn my other camera on. And then you can see what I'm doing on this side of the room. Hey, there we go. That's what it looks like from this side. So, now you can see the magic. Did it come out? Yeah. And this one. It has to go in there. And then hopefully, if we swap it back around again, Somehow, we're still seeing Sonic Mania. How do you explain that? Hmm. That should have worked. What's going on? This is where my retro setup doesn't make sense to me. If you saw my video, you'll know how many random cables are down there.
Okay, now do we have it? Yeah, that works.